of football manager of 2015 with Aston Villa. It's the 1st of December 2015, we've got the live commentary against Swansea coming up at home. And it's a must-win game, really. Uh, we've uh, not had the best of form since you guys were last with us, so we'll have a look at that first. Of course, last episode was the 1-1 draw at Liverpool. I thought it was going to be morale-boosting due to uh, Danny Ings' goal in the 69th minute, uh, giving us a valuable point against a good Liverpool team. But then we lost 1-0, QPR, Breda Hangeland, but the only goal of the game in the 39th minute. Lost two under, or sorry, lost one nil to Spurs. A George Corre own goal on the 70th minute, the only thing to separate the two teams. Lost two under Stoke. Ron Vlaar scored in the first minute for us, but Mohamed El Nenny and Stephen Nzonzi scored with a minute to go to give a, to give Stoke the win. Lost five one to Sunderland, a game I like to put in the back of my back of my mind pretty quickly. Stephen Fletcher a hat trick from Adam Johnson and Jack Rodwell scoring. Christian Menteke with the lone goal for ourselves. But then it's kind of turned around in the last two games, as you can see. We were 2 0 down at home to Southampton after 34 minutes. I was really fearing the worst. But Ron Vlar, Gabby Bonlahor, Christian Menteke, and Ryan Bertrand all scored to turn the game around to win 4 2. And then, last but not least, we drew 1 1 away at Nottingham Forest. Gabby Bonlahor going in the 27th minute, but Andy Reid did put Forest level with a superb free kick in the 68th minute. Which does still leave us in the uh, relegation spots. Seven points from 12 games, but if certain games go our way, I think if we win tonight, we will, uh, if we beat Swansea at home, we will climb out. Swansea are 13th, so they're five points, five places ahead of us, and have, but have had double our points. Have a look at the stats here. Mara Zarate for West Ham has scored 12 goals already this year. He's turned into an absolute beast. 12 from 12 for him. He's beating Diego Costa, Falcao and Robin Van Persie. You've all got 10 apiece. Anyway, we'll go into our own team selection now. And I don't think I picked the team, did I? No, I didn't. What does the assistant suggest? That's what he suggests. A few of them are... In, in the middle of rests, because I by accident gave them a rest a little too much. So it's going to be Valdez and Gilbeck for Bertrand, Balanta, Okore and Hutton, because Peruzzi's still injured and Leighton's in, uh, tired. Agbonlahor, Delph, Cleverly and Grealish, that sounds good, and Kozak can take up front. Mm, what we're going to do, actually, is have Agbonlahor up front with Benteke, putting Zogby on the wing. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, let's get on into the game, I suppose. Might as well. The defence has been dodgy again, which is disappointing, I suppose. But, hopefully we can sure up the defence uh, as soon as possible, really. Because we kind of need to. Um, Benteke is about to make his 100th league appearance for the club, which is great to see. He's been a good... Good servant to the club. Um, although we could do with them banging in a few more goals. Only three goals so far this year. Gabby Bonlahor has scored more. And his, his performances have been largely off the bench. But he has scored four from uh, three starts and six appearances off the bench. So not bad for McBonlahor. The only problem with him is he's a little bit injury prone. Oh my god, Wayne Routledge has scored an absolute worldie. Uh, from 25 yards out and it's 1-0 already Routledge's first goal of the season as well just our luck really move up to 18th because West Brom are back to drawing Agbonlahor in behind and scores his 5th of the season that's a classic uh, use of the target man support role here from Christian Menteke just a nice little flick on and Agbonlahor in the advanced forward role is able to swoop in behind the defenders and is too quick for them before uh, slotting pretty Pretty nicely behind uh, beyond Fabianski to level us up at one apiece here. Fabian Delph has picked up an injury, so we're going to have to sort that out as soon as possible. Guido Pizarro is going to come in for him as the ball-winning midfielder of the team. Um, yeah, so there it is, one apiece at half-time. Going to tell the guys passionately, keep going, and we can still get a win tonight. 
that haven't really given the guys the, probably the necessary kick that they probably needed. It's really there with an appetizing ball in, but nobody could quite get a hand on it, or quite get their head on it, even. As you can see, the two guys up front are playing quite well. The rest of the team, though, not great ratings. Uh, stretching around here, 6.3, 6.2s from a few guys in the defence. That's not great. He's like Ron Lahore. Loses the ball poorly, Belanta with an extremely good closing tackle. And that was a complete a reverse of the first goal. But Benteke could not put it home to give us the advantage in this game. And I suppose we've kind of got to push on now with around 20 minutes to go as we're really looking to win this game. And okay. Took around eight, make tactical changes before they actually implemented them. And Mm. That is harsh. Goofy Sigurdsson arriving at the front post. And this looks like it's going to be a tragic defeat. 2 1 at home to Swansea. Not what we wanted whatsoever. Which keeps us in the bottom four, or bottom three even, yeah, with only seven points from 13 games. That's a bit of a shocker, if you ask me. I wouldn't be surprised if we're called in for a board conference meeting, are we? No. I think the only thing that's keeping me here is the expect expectations this year is only to avoid relegation. And I suppose if we win a couple of games, we might be able to do so. Apart from that, we're in a real uh, poor poor position, especially with this run of games coming up with Man U, Everton, Chelsea and Arsenal for a uh, Black Country derby against West, ha West Brom. And in the next episode will be, if, if I'm still around of course, will be, we well, just did Liverpool, so we're going to do that home to QPR game. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.